Welcome everybody, um, and uh, here's our vlog for today, um, Thursday 26th of March from Sandbach School. Uh, our theme today, uh, what I want to talk about is health and fitness. Um, doing this because I know so many of you are working at home, uh, and for parents and yourselves, uh, stuck in a house, it can be a little bit uh, claustrophobic at times, uh, especially that motivation to get your work done uh, that the teachers are setting. Um, it's a lot easier it will become a lot easier if you actually give yourself uh, a little bit of a wake-up call in the morning or maybe to end the day uh, just to get yourself going or to, to get rid of some pent-up frustration. Uh, so we're going to focus on your health and fitness and, and that's as much as about uh, refreshing your body and making sure that you're ready to, to, to get through these difficult times. So we're going to focus on health and fitness, both what's happening uh, at home and what you can do at home, but also having a look at what the boys are doing in school um, day by day here at, uh, here at Sandbach. So, um, to start with, we're going to look at uh, something that the guys at the lodge produced. This is Mr. Dutton and Mr. Morris have produced a fantastic video um, showing how you can get a really good sort of workout that you can do in the mornings, first thing in the morning, get you going, just watch this, try and follow it. All you need is a, a drinks bottle uh, filled with water. And uh, just to, to give you an idea of what it's like, here it is. Morning guys, hope everyone's doing alright at home on a beautiful Thursday morning. Okay, my name is Mr Dutton, Mr Morris, and we're coming from the Lodge at Sandback School. We've got a workout for you today. The workout is the water bottle wad. Okay, you're going to need a water bottle and you're going to need a partner. I've got Mr Morris today, but you're going to want to drag up your adults from the sofa or your siblings to do this with you. Okay, if you want a challenge, use a litre bottle, use a two litre bottle, or you might want to use a football if you've got one of those around the house as well. Okay? Now, you're going to want to stick around because we've got a water bottle flip challenge right at the end, okay? But before we start that, the first move we're going to do is squat throws, okay? Mr. Morris is going to demonstrate that for us now. So all we need is one bottle between the pair of you. What you're going to do, squat down, touch the bottle on the floor, stand up, throw it to your partner. Squat down, stand up. Squat down, stand up. And you're going to do that for 30 seconds and then it's going to be 20 seconds recovery. And we've got music playing over the top so you know where to go. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what it's about. And the exercises go on. Uh, it's a great one for the family to do. Ideally, it's done at home or should only be done at home because obviously you're passing a bottle between the two of you. So if you've got brothers, sisters, mum, dad want to join in, have a go. Uh, now, we've been doing something similar in school. Um, and Mr. Dutton, again, uh, is full of energy. This is the kind of thing he's been doing. The first of all, this morning, our year nines did it. Uh, during their core English math session, and they gave it a, a, a go just to relieve the tension, a bit of classroom sort of uh, stuffiness, want to get out and just do a little bit of exercise. So this is the kind of thing he was doing. So we've got a single weight in the dance studio, just doing some of the exercises, and you can see on the screen uh, the boys are really giving it a go. Someone's struggling, you would do a differentiated exercise, and uh, Mr. Dutton in his video explains how to do that. Okay, and then uh, after the year nine and tens have been in and done that, the year seven and eights and joined in, um, and they had their session uh, before they went for their break. And here's an example. This is Harry, uh, really showing great technique, really enjoying it, really getting into it. Well done, Harry. And I think this is Harry again, just having a go at the uh, the press up roll over. Brilliant technique from Harry. Now we did have some of the staff doing it. Uh, Mr. Sims gave it a go. Um, sorry, we'll just go back to um, this is Kyan actually. Yeah, just got a little view of Kyan here. There we go. Do this out, Kyan. Russian twist. And that's pretty hard. Well done, Kyan. Yeah, and I was just saying, Mr. Sims. Uh, gave it a go now. He gave it his best shot, but by the end of the session, he was pretty shattered. Oh dear. Um, this slide here, this is about, uh, just again, looking at your health and uh, you know, your, your mental health. Great message from uh, Mr. Jevons this morning. Um, he sent this through, this picture, and he asked, this was to all the staff, and he asked all the staff just to think positively about how they might look at the opportunities available on the positive side of this crisis that we're going through. So we just sat in his garden for a few minutes and, and, and thought, well, 
there's a, you know, it's a nice clear blue sky. I was sitting, sitting to have a cup of coffee in the garden, not a plane to be seen, and I'm thinking, actually, there's no pollution going on through the, the, the aircraft flying, and nature is healing itself slightly. So a very positive way to look at it. Other staff have tried to keep themselves busy, as well as looking after the children. Miss Lyons sent through this slide this morning. She'd been baking a cake. She'd done her fitness session this morning, and then she baked a cake uh, with her family. Uh, and then, how else can our youngsters, our young people, uh, contribute in a household? I think Dr Cosgrove mentioned this yesterday about doing a few jobs around the house. Well, look at this one. One of our boys is uh, of our members of staff, sons of our members of staff, has actually cleaned the patio, jet washed the patio, and made it nice and clean. What a great contribution. It's not all about just doing the work that the school is setting. It's about actually engaging with your family and taking the best of those opportunities. And other staff have been uh, clearly having to look after their own children. And for them, it's, it's, it's a different ball game as well, in that uh, although we're secondary school teachers, those staff with young children have had to uh, kind of put together timetables. And this was Mr. Stefani sent through the timetable he'd worked out for his children. Um, and clearly, they've got a very structured day. And that's part of the, the key, I think, is to make sure that you have some kind of structure to your day. Um, there's lots of resources. Uh, some other staff have sent through these resources. These are from the BBC. And just lots of resources out there that you can, uh, you can latch on to. Uh, if you look at this, uh, this video on YouTube, you can focus in on some of the links there. And for those parents who want to look at something a little bit different, a bit more entertaining for their children, there's plenty of uh, opportunities there for you to try different things. And then um, a bit of a shout out. This is brilliant. Miss Bilby sent through uh, some messages from Max Bradshaw in year nine. She'd set some homework, and true to form, Miss Bilby had uh, wanted to get ahead of the game, and she posted some homework on Sherma Homework. Max, as quick as a flash, uh, was able to spot that Miss Bilby had actually set, set the wrong homework, or, or perhaps the right homework, in the wrong week. And what she'd done is actually posted double homework this week. Max was straight on to her pointed it out to her and now he has been appointed or he's commissioned himself to be the chief checker of Show My Homework for uh, Miss Bilby's class. And then uh, the last shout out uh, uh, today, or second, uh, sorry, the penultimate percent shout out is these guys from uh, Mr Sanders A Level PE group. It just shows what our year 12 students are doing. Um, they haven't, uh, you know, they haven't relaxed at all. Mr Sanders has been right on to them. I think they're using a, a, a platform called EverLearner uh, to communicate and, and, and for him to get the learning through to them and this is some of the work that they've produced. Fantastic work from our year 12s. So a shout out for Jamie, Leo, Michael, Aaron and Jack. Well done guys, keep at it. And lastly, uh, just some boys from the uh, lower parts of the school. This is great, some great examples of the work they've put, put uh, through to the staff uh, and submitted already. Um, some, some history, some geography, some science. Uh, really, really top work, so well done guys. Uh, this is from Tom, Josh, Charlie, Tom B and Will. Uh, really good to see, thank you, keep sending it in, keep giving us examples of the work, whether it's on Twitter, uh, just, just, just post it to us, that's absolutely fantastic. Really pleased to see so much is going on. Thank you and goodbye.